హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ప్రశాంత్ వెల్కమ్ టు పైతాన్ ఆటోమిక్స్ జెల్లియం సిరీస్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ అబౌట్ ద హౌ టు జనరేట్ అ రిపోర్ట్స్ అండ్ వెన్ నవ్ ద టెస్ట్ కేస్ వెయిల్ హౌ టు అటాచ్ ద స్క్రీన్ షాట్ ఇన్ ద రిపోర్ట్ ఓకే so first of all we will create a report to uh, to share across the team members like showcase how many test cases pass how many test cases fail skip to the business owners uh, we need to install one library to generate a report that is pytest html library okay so i'm giving this disc- url in the description you can go to the uh, url and uh, click on the copy the item uh, open your project uh, go to the terminal and paste it here simply pip install pytest-html so it will run and it will install the all the things okay once it's done the install installation here i add another two things uh, first of all i'm created a conf.php uh, like a conf test.py file so what is a conf test means configuration okay so entire pytest is will run on this configuration so like uh, where right here right right now i'm creating one uh, driver inside a uh, conf test file because why i'm creating this a uh, driver in this uh, conf test file means so you are writing 100 test cases or 1000 uh, test cases you cannot launch everywhere in each file so you should all the do the all the configuration in the one main file so that is the conf test file in the conf test file i am creating one fixtures fixture we already study everything here i am using a session fiction like a scope so what is the session scope so whenever i am starting a session with this project until this entire test case is ran so this session is common for all the test cases so in the session i am creating one the driver so uh, this uh, we already studied from the first class like how to launch the driver so i creating a driver and i am returning a driver so whomever using my fixture that i can get the driver so i am getting the driver using a like a drive browser dot get and i am launching the driver and here i am doing on assertions so obviously this session will fail because we are putting 4 equal to equal to 5 and how to uh, run a py, like a report generate report so first of all how to run pytest hyphen v and to run a html report we need to use hyphen hyphen html equal to then you want to specify the file name like that i am report dot html so this uh, file name you can give any name but you want to give the extension right like dot html and click on enter so when i enter this selected a one item because i have only one test case so launch the driver and it's enter the url in a browser so it's completed we obviously expected what is we expected assertion will fail here so this test case will fail okay so what is our motto our motto is a report so see this this is the file location reported generator even now in our script also like see this the report dot html file is generated automatically how simple no simply putting i find in html and equal to file file name so how to open this html file name means right click on the file name go to the open browser click on the any browser you need i'm clicking on a chrome so it's open the browser uh, like a report see this this is the report we generate and it's a name as re- it's giving like report at html and it have a basic information about my systems everything if when i go to this file it has a one test case it's failed test case remaining under zero and it's giving the reason as well like what the reason is in uh, it's came in the console okay so it is called assertion failure so this is how, how simple we need to generate a report okay next thing is uh, when you go to the html file here have some documentations uh, this is the link actually so i will give you this link also in description you can check it out so basically uh, we can configuration changes we do done in a report like uh, I, we want to give a report name like right now like uh, report at html but it's not a good way of reporting so how to give a report at html so see this pytest report dot and you want to give a title name so system automatically will find and report it okay so where we need to give this we need to specify everything in the our confessed file okay so i'm going to on command this i'm going to show you like a bit by bit okay so i copy pasted this uh, that code from this uh, browser and simply whatever you name need you can give this so i give you like automation report okay that after that next thing is in every interview will ask you so in basically normal interview they will ask you how to take a screenshot for that we need to use a simple method driver dot 
get screenshot as a file so this is the method you want to state to the interviewer get screenshot as a file and you need to pass the parameter what parameter which file name you need a report like a, like a, like a, like a screenshot like screenshot is like png jpg like a images okay so you want to give the image name so this method will take a screenshot so first of all in the same document if you scroll up so there you can see some hookups hook like a hook wrapper what is this hook wrapper will do you know so generally we have a couple of plugins so one person need to collect all the plugins to execute some commands okay so you can copy paste these things uh, even i will give this code in the description you can copy over that so i will tell you he chon up that okay right now we need to using annotations like hook implementation and i am giving like a hook wrapper is true if i give a false means some of the plugin may be not goes so sir but always the good practice is give a true and i am giving this method name same method name like in this uh, uh, report okay so first thing you need to tell you know take one plugin what plugin we are going to create one html website so that's why we need to get a plugin of html after that yield so yield if you remember this we are studying in a fixtures like what is the use of yield yield is kind of a after method so after a test case either yield will bring, bring all the configurations okay so i am storing the yield in outcome from the outcome i am getting the results so what are the results contains the result contains the test case is pass or fail what is the reason to uh, fail and what is the test case is rand so those information right this information come from the yield i am getting through the get result method i am storing in a report so this report has all the information of my test case okay i am storing this report in a on extra variable like i am getting in a, as a, all the attributes okay whatever attributes it's mentioned in this thing i am taking as a list okay on the it will store in a list okay then right now i am going to do one thing so what thing if any any anything actions happen i am going to take it like two kind of actions in report either call or a setup two kind of stuffs either sometimes we can call the report on the setup as time or the calling time so in any of a time we giving our function like call or failure anything okay then first of all i'm taking the x file report like so uh, i initially i taught you what is x file x file is a kind of expected failure maybe a, a function is not developed or this issue is still exist already we created a bug so those kind of things x file so sometimes we are x file also will come okay so this report as a x file if x file means i don't need to bother okay so other than the x file like a functional failure i need to take a screenshot okay so i am putting on if condition if my condition is x file or it is normally failed i need to go to this condition first of all i need to create a file name so how we creating a file name is here they using like of uh, uh, like a, your file name and your test case name so that's why we are going to the report node id and we there is generally we come like a colon so we are removing the we, we study the replace function using a string so what the replace it will take one uh, old string and new string it, it will change update so i'm taking this colon and i'm changing to the underscore after that i'm putting dot png there are uh, two kind of images like a dot png file or a jpeg after creating a file name i'm calling the capture screenshot method this is the capture screenshot method so i'm passing the file name so in the file name there is a new png file will create like screenshot will taken okay right now you have a screenshot you have a report right now you need to copy your images to the screenshot so for that only if file name so what is the file name if it is file name exists means so give a true value if it is uh that there is a empty means it will null value so if it is true it will go to this file okay here what are we doing here i am creating one new page like a div command and we are using a image tag in the image tag there is a source attribute alt attribute and style so style like like height which height you will need we always need a small kind of image after that on click window open so what is the on click method is a event kind so there are some lot of events so when you clicking on the image it should be expandable so that's why we using on click command and this is not mandatory but it is a sort of good practice after that you want to specify the which file okay right now it's entirely on html so we have one small html we have a report right now you want to attach for that we are doing in the 25th line like already we have extra attribute in the attribute i'm appending 
my pi test report extra html equal to html so that's a html i'm creating on extra html i'm embedding like append append we said in a string concept like appending one string to another string same fashion in one html page to like appending another html page after that we creating a report and i'm storing this report okay simple so first of all you want to know how to take a screenshot and what is the use of yield function and what is the use of this thing okay so uh, after dunning this i'm coming again going to the terminal uh, clearing the old stuffs running the same command again like py test hyphen v hyphen hyphen html equal to reported html when i run this file so right now see this everything is done it is the file is created see this there is a png file is created i told you right the file name hyphen the your test case name it is created in that manner it's a png file when you open this report right click open browser chrome when you go to the report see this the screenshot is attached in the report itself which file it's which test case it's failed it attaches attach a screenshot okay when i click on this screenshot it will open in a bigger screen so that's why you're giving given on click event we give now so uh no uh, don't go to the google smudge you know uh there are so many uh, uh failure codes in the google so i'll give you all the codes in description you can use utilize those things simply copy paste it and do you want to learn how to create a confess file those things if you are faced any issues please put me leave me the comment so i will help you over there and if you like the video please uh, like and share to your friends and subscribe and uh, thanks for joining in